in the worst job in America. Yeah. What is the worst job? I don't know I got here. Well, that's because I worked the worst job in America okay. called Mental Health Therapy Aid, or Mahatas for sure. Oh. Mahatas work in psych wards and are basically babysitters for adults, feeding them, monitoring them, yep. getting viciously that's attacked bad. by them. That's also, bad. pay of 35 grand a year. That's right, for an unlivable oh, wage, you too can deal with the stress of, will I get assaulted today? When I started Damn. the job, I had no idea what I was getting into. All they asked the interview process was, are you okay with mandated overtime? In which they might as well have asked, how- Mandated overtime? Damn. 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 Gay and I appreciate the sub, Anarchy and Autism? Okay, whatever. Ooh. How poor wow. are you? Because who is okay with being forced to work? Hey, did you think you were about to go home? Well, not anymore. We're going nah, to get your eye back here. Be careful. He's off his meds and loves to bite. <laughs> My first day on the job <laughs> taught me what anxiety really is. It started by being dumped on the sex offenders unit and told to take Whoa. a walk. Imagine all of a sudden being surrounded by 30 psychotic Whoa. predators and having to talk to every single one of them. Not only that. They're not just Dr. Disrespect. They're psychotic Dr. Yeah. Disrespect. Yeah, that's worse. Wow. That's worse. Cause that's that you insane. could be a victim. Yeah. But as I'm asking for people's names, all I'm doing is making enemies. Because 90% of psych patients are lazy, drugged up idiots who spend most of the day sleeping. And my white ass is just tapping them on the shoulder like, hey, what's your name? Go f yourself. Okay, I don't see yourself here. Is it Jerry? Is it Jerry? Jerry? Started Jerry? Mikey's Jerry? <laughs> all right, that fear whatever. eventually subsides, lulling mm. you into a false sense of security. Now you're much easier to attack. You'll remember to be anxious next time a food trace through your oh. face. It's what you get for opening up a package of bread, sprinkling in wrap poison, and putting the wrapper back on, thinking huh? I wouldn't notice. So what's the training huh? To handle an aggressive They're patient. crazy. I know. They're crazy. I yeah. know. I couldn't do it, bro. Yeah. I couldn't do it at all. I think Dr. Crash out, Captain Crash out can handle it. Yeah. Yeah. You on the level with it. I had to get. We just gonna continue the video, bro. Oh, I'm glad you asked. You see, I'm not allowed to hit, tackle, or even bear hug him. No, no, that's too cruel. All I'm allowed to do is redirect. So if a patient redirect. Is at me with a hammer, all I can do is redirect him away. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. Over here! It is! You think pressing the juke button is going to make a person forget Sometime. what you're doing? Where did this hammer come from? And in what part of this do you get the weapon away from the patient? Is Billy now on construction duty? My nail's good. You see, what happened was, a few years back, people <laughs> used to beat the heck out of patients. Right. So they changed the laws in order to protect them. Problem is, they overcorrected, and now patients have too many rights. For example, let's say a patient... So you mean Tell me they used to whoop their ass for no reason. Fried tuna, appreciate the gift itself. They used to whoop their ass. Damn. Punches you in the face and breaks your jaw. You know what happens to them? Nothing. No jail, no prison, no Nothing. hooking up the nips to I mean, they batteries. are crazy. Nothing. And you can go ahead and press charges, but like Drake being told no, it's not going to change anything. Because in order oh. to convict, you need evidence. Wow. And psych wards refuse to provide any in fear of wow. violating HIPAA. You think your pinata face would be enough proof, but sadly, it isn't. I learned this the hard way when a patient named Tommy chomped down on my arm. And you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe he was psychotic at the time. No! He knew exactly what. <laughs> what he was doing. You see, Tommy is basically an internet troll. All day, every day, is spent trying to instigate people. He'll harass, uh -huh. stalk, and pet staff yep. members, all with the biggest smile on his face. Anyway, one day, Tommy starts bothering another Sick patient out. named Rick, and Rick is not the person you want to f*** with. Rick has a long history of violence, and has been arrested 37 Sheesh. times. 37? I thought after 20, they just say- 37? Throw him in prison. Keep him in there. Keep him in there, Jesus Christ. Hey, look, you had your chance. Not only that, but Rick's fists don't discriminate. He's assaulted police, COs, oh. nurses, so I don't think my pasty ass is off limits. <laughs> anyway, I keep Why separating you Tommy buns? and Rick, but Tommy just keeps coming back. Eventually, I get fed up, and I was like, look, Tommy, I'm not going to tell you again. Either go to your room, or I'm going to call the doctor to give you an injection. Tommy responds appropriately by spitting in my ah! face. Yes! is where I have to. Mikey you see, instead Texan, of manhandling Dr. Tommy Dr. like I wanted to, I had to play by bro. the rules and redirect him to the medication room. Problem was, once we got there, Tommy was free to drag me to the ground. And now it's a UFC match. Instinctively, I go for an arm bar, but Tommy counters with a chomp to the forearm. Uh, Immediately, uh, I hit him in the throat. He lets go, but not before taking a nice little chunk out of me. Eventually, I go to the hospital, where a thick nurse asks, what happened? Well, a hungry patient decided to have a little nibble. Maybe you should have fed him more. Or maybe I'm just a tasty treat. That's when I get a call from my supervisor love telling you guys, me Tommy is but when HIV. You're going ghost hunting. <gasps> Whoa. We're going ghost hunting when we hit a million, man. That's the that's the million celebration. Maybe I'm just a tasty treat. That's when I get a call from my supervisor telling me Tommy is HIV positive. Positive. Oh. Positive. Oh. Yeah, no. oh. I'm gonna kill Tommy. Oh. oh I'm gonna hang. Tommy got to go. Oh, Tommy, you about to get Yes, this Man. is the real internet city. This is not a waiting room. <laughs> Tommy, what the hell are you? Uh! 
Oh, no! Not only do I get stitches, but I also get that fear rattling around yeah. my brain needle. Oh, but at least I get a few days off from work. Sure, but it's my own time. That's right, when you get injured, the hospital doesn't give you days off, so I have to use my own you vacation use time. Vaca Some people Damn. vacay in Hawaii while I sit home worrying about dying! So I returned I got a week injured. later and talked to Tommy's parole officer, who piled on more bad news, saying that even with an injury requiring stitches, there was nothing he could do. So what do you think Tommy did once he found out there were no consequences? Did he guess level up his troll game? No. Yep. Turns out giving an a-hole a get out of jail free card is like giving Drake a protein, <sighs> saying, I hope you don't abuse this. Oh. And this is just one of many times wow. I was injured at the psych this center. Not including crazy. all the psychological trauma. There was a stretch between February and November where right. I was legitimately worried about my life. Mostly due to a patient named Tyrone. Tyrone has the three most dangerous qual- Oh. Okay. Big black buff. And dangerous. <laughs> All these of any human. He's dumb as rocks, okay. paranoid, uh -huh. and freakishly strong. He barely even worked Mikey's out either. He just built like a gorilla. Porter. And that's not even a race thing. Type if shit. anything, I was the slave in our relationship. Fetch me some water, boy. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. But even back in the shells, Tyrone would still get furious with me. Mostly because, like I mentioned earlier, he's paranoid. If you just glance at this dude wrong, he'd think you're plotting against him. But luckily, most of the staff knew how to handle Tyrone, which was just to ignore him. Engaging with someone paranoid only fuels their yeah, delusion. Yeah, you can't make it worse. Is to just ignore him. However, can't make it worse. Named Jamal. All right, chat. Lock in. Lock in, chat. What you? What does that mean? What are y'all locking into? What 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 y'all locking into? Chat, just lock in. What? Chat, just lock in. Wait, wait a minute. Chat, just lock in. Wait a minute. Chat, just lock in. What? Uh, uh, chat, just uh, lock in. Uh, All right. When I really crash. I don't wish y'all didn't lock in. Arguing with Tyrone. I'm trying to separate him when Jamal says, Stop talking about something and do it. Now my anxiety is skyrocketing. Because if Tyrone starts swinging at Jamal, I'm the Why best would you say that to him? Boy, and I'm not a good option. We Being don't know! We don't know! You're so cute when you struggle. So I'm begging Jamal. Come on, man. It's not worth it. But he just has to run his mouth again and say, I knew you were soft. <gasps> so soft. And just like that, it's boss battle time. Tyrone grabs Jamal by the neck and just tosses him across the room. Like he was playing frisbee with an infant, causing him to fly through the air before Why landing you... hard on the concrete. Then Tyrone starts charging towards Jamal when out of pure desperation. Why would you do that? Chipotle! Tyrone hesitates. Chipotle, Tyrone, I'll go out right now and get you Chipotle if you leave Jamal alone. Panting, Tyrone goes, <sighs> Please, Tyrone, please! Burrito. I'm like, yep, I'll get your burrito right now, but you gotta chill, okay? Go, go to your room and I'll bring it to you. At this point, I can see the gears turning in his head, so with my heart <laughs> pounding, I looked right at Tyrone and said, Chicken burrito. Mm -hmm. Tyrone looks at me, nods, then heads back to his room. Staff quickly rush over to help out Jamal, who is clearly f***ed up. There's no blood, but he's making this wheezing sound of <laughs> Oh boy, that boy. Jamal fucked him up. Strained forearm, dislocated wrist, and fractured hip. Yeah, all from one frisbee toss. Oh, he needs to say damn. he came back to work, which was probably for the best, considering he had a habit of instigating the zoo animals. So what That's I mean? why. Yeah. He, he was, he was he known for it. doing he it. Yeah, he deserved it. it. Well, okay. you, better, you better leave them people alone, boy. Tyrone? Well, I got good news. News. He was arrested, charged, and later sentenced to five years in prison. <laughs> I'm kidding. There were no consequences. Yeah. If anything, Tyrone's bad behavior was rewarded with Chipotle. That's because psych wards aren't fair. There's nothing fair about getting anxiety, being nibbled on, or You're stuck in a rock and a hard place. You're just between a rock and a hard place, paycheck. man. So anybody out there thinking about working in a psych center, don't. But if you're poor and have no other option, then just remember, if you can't appeal to someone's mind, then try appealing to their stomach. I respect that. I respect the same that. Same way as everybody else. All right, a hungry man. <sighs> Think of psych wards like the Middle East, where the patients are the man and you're the woman. What's oh. the worst job in America? Is a coal miner, Uber driver, hand? I worked as a Mahada for three years, and I don't want to say it was hell, because there's a lot of cool people in hell. Prince, DMX, Kobe. There's no one cool in the psych oh. ward. Hey, when are you going to stop by again? I miss those fairy orgies we used to have with you. I can't wait to see you in that gorilla fur suit again. Hey, nigga. Hey. What the fuck are you talking about? You must be talking to him. Uh, I don't think he's talking to me. That's cool. Hell, because a lot of cool people in hell. Prince, DMX, Kobe. There's no one cool in the psych oh. ward. Interesting, sure, but no one I take a helicopter ride with. Positive, mm. positive, positive! Society looks at a drooling person and sees a problem. Well, I see a solution. No! 
I see a That's great, uh, chat. You know what I see? Great uh, cookie makers. Great cookie makers. Making the same question. How dumb can a person be before tapping is illegal? We gotta uh-huh. draw a line somewhere. Can't just be getting out low fives to every grunting girl. So how dumb is too dumb? What if she thinks the earth is flat or crystals have healing powers or condoms feel just as good as raw dog? Oh, at what point okay. does her ignorance become a red flag instead of a green light? I asked this because there was a patient at the psych center named Stacy no. who was aesthetically banging but mentally a pop tart. No. Now, I didn't have the desire to pet her untrained okay. kitty, but okay. other patients did. Staff would repeatedly catch her playing the who's in my mouth game, which was such a nightmare because patients porking will get you in trouble, but patients assaulting will get you fired. And whatever the IQ threshold for consent is, Stacy was right on the border. Sure, she could answer basic <laughs> questions, but her brain came with a built-in buffer, like trying to play Elden Ring on a Chromebook. I mean, you can't blame the patients. They all crazy. So if they have a pretty crazy one, then, you know, News is Stacy was eventually is. transferred to an all-female unit where it was clear no one wanted to taste her seafood. <laughs> I didn't hear no. Positive? That is, that's still wild. He bit you and he was that's positive. Crazy, that's bro. insane, bro. That's crazy. I would bro. never. Don't work at the psych ward if you ain't ready. This explains him Why? and his content. Yeah. This right here. Yeah, it makes bro. sense. Crazy women in his life, crazy jobs, crazy everything. Yeah, bro. Broden had Broden did every side quest.